my friend. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Quick video today. Quick video today regarding uh, how to enable in and out reader in your KT2 controller, right? We'll also do a review for the KT400 controller. But the focus of that video is about the KT2 controller. So I'm going to set a new KT2 with you. All right. So I have a new controller there, and that's, you know how to do that. So we don't need to. I, all right, let's, let's add the name. We we'll say KT2 demo. Yep. All right. We save. Of course. Of course, we could define a reader type. Let's keep moving. So let's suppose that correct. So I have two door, and I have reader in and works out or exit button. I click the advance, so that allow me to get a cleaner configuration. For example, here I can add the name. I uh, will say this one is reception. I will say this one is IT room. For example. You know, okay, and I have the contact works. All right. So here I have my KT2 set ready to go. Okay. Of course, depending on where I could add the serial number and stuff like that. I mean, that part, you know it. So that's fine. And you see here there is nothing. It's clean. And okay. And you will see why I'm mentioning that soon. So I kick, I'm going to take a quick look at the door setting. And... So I can see, and since it's a KT2 and I just define two doors, so basically I'm gonna see the doors there. And here you can see I have the reception door and I have the IT room door. So I have two doors, it's a two door controller. So I have two door with the in and exit out to, to get out. Now, whether it's the same day or afterward, you realize that you need to change that configuration because Reader in and reader out, that's what is needed. So what do we need to do? First, we have to make sure we have the correct reader type. Okay, because in order for you, whether it's the KT400 or the KT2 to use reader in, reader out, you have to necessary, you need to have XSF, or S or IOSmart XSF or IOPROX XSF, or there is another IOS, IOPROX. Or, I mean, now we're going to review that first. But now, first, how to get the option to enable the in and out with? The best way to do that is we're going to disable the reader. Any reader is not compatible. For example, here, okay, and this one is compatible, so we could leave it there, but just to make sure. So I set all reader to known, and I save. That's it. We're almost there. Okay, now what do we do, Jocelyn? We go to the second tab, and why the way you have it? <laughs> here, we didn't have anything a couple of seconds ago, but now we have enable exit reader. If you need just one door of exit reader, or if you need both door, you just add the, you know. So when I do that now, all right, and if I go to door, you know what's going to happen. Now I have the same reception, but I have reception with the in, reception with the out. I have IT room, IT room exit. That's it. Of course, Quick reminder about your wiring, remember, it's the same principle than when you use the KT400 in and out reader. The entry reader, you connect that as you always connect reader. The exit reader, you can use the same cable, but you go into reverse. I mean, you're going to split the D0, D1, and the one going to the exit reader will be reverse, which means the D0 in one side going to be the D1 on the exit reader. The D1, and when I say D0, D1, you mean data 0, data 1. And the data 1, data 1 in the entry reader will be data 0 in the exit reader. So that's what you're going to have as your wiring. Okay? 
Now, as for the controller, so now I'm pretty sure we're done by now, right? Um, so since we confirm everything is okay, what do we we're still missing something here? You see, by enabling in and out reader, it's set. Remember, we just had everything to known. Now you have the three compatible with. So you need to have one of those three reader to be able to proceed, which means IOPROX XSF format, IOPROX UK 31 bit Wigan, or the IOSmart SSF format. Please, not the IOSmart multi technology. I mean, you can use the IOSmart multi tech, but you will still need to use. The in the SSF format, which means you buy the multi tech and you will not be able to use the multi tech part in it. Okay. Uh, yes. I mean, you can use the XSF, the SSF, but you will not be able to use the third party if you use the multi tech reader because those are what can be used. All right. So that was the KT2. And since we're there, let's take a quick look at the KT400. And why do we want to take a quick look at the KT400? Let me take an existing KT400, for example. I think we have one somewhere there. I'm sure we have one. I don't want to mess up existing. Oh, you know what? Let's go with this one, for example. Yes. Okay. So I have that KT400 there. Why the way I'm looking at that, I know this KT400 is... Right now, just for regular door with the in exit button out because I have one uh, of the reader type there, and that tell me there is no other way this one can be. But we can look. You see, so I have four. I don't have the exit door, so I have the KT four hundred in normal configuration. Now, if I want to have that with in and out with the setup. How do I do that? I think by now you know what to do. Because if I come on that here, and you see here, I have nothing. So it's I don't have the option to set exit reader. But if I come here and I say, what is the non-compatible? This one is not compatible, and I set up to none. All right? I don't even need to remove the others because those are OK. And when I save, so the controller since it can detect the setting for the reader type, automatically have the enable exit reader available. And now I can select what I want. So as you can see here, there is no need to delete the controller and we define at all. Because if you delete the controller, you lose all the configuration. And, but there is, that's the proper way to enable exit reader in KT400 controller or KT2 controller. Those are the two controller where you have to use special reader, right? Like XSF, SSF, stuff like that. So you see now how to do that. And I'm hoping the video helped. Thank you for your time.